Ah, okay. <laughs> what the title said. I'm Archatastrophe, I think. I might be using my other channel for this one. I, I haven't decided yet. Um, you can call me whatever. If you're new to my channel, um, hello. You probably are. I have like a sprinkle of subscribers. I am recording this in my parents' Airbnb in the only room that didn't make gargling laundry sounds and weird freaky noise from the walls was the kitchen and it's super echoey in here but um yeah hand reveal <laughs> so spicy why need an only fans when you can have only hands oh that was dumb please oh god okay anyway i have two comics here that i made when i was i don't know how old I was young, I was really little. Well, I wouldn't say little, I was in the double digits of age. Like, maybe 10 or 11-ish. Definitely like 10 for this one. I think I was 11, maybe almost 12 for this. I'm gonna go with 11 because if I say I'm 12, it's a little bit more embarrassing, you know? Um, in, it's, it's it's a little superhero comic I made when I was, um, yeah, as I said before, 11, a, a wee little child. <laughs> it was a little superhero comic. These characters that are in this actually still exist. They're part of one of my main stories. I haven't written anything for it, but you can check out my Instagram for like um, info dumps and like stories and little... Um, little arts and maybe some comics here and there like actual comics that aren't the quality of this one i can't top this quality this quality that lays in here is beyond <laughs> anything i can ever achieve again i peaked here i peaked especially in art skills um but yeah and if you haven't already please do buy my book land of armonia it's on amazon the link will be in the description it is free for those with kindle unlimited it would mean the world to me if you just, you, you don't even have to buy it, just spread it around, just share the word that it exists. I, I want people talking about it. I might make like bookmarks or little stickers to sell for them. So if you're interested in that, just like let me know. Um, Land of Armoni has nothing to do with this. These characters are completely separate. They're from a different story, which still kind of has a workshopping title right now. Um, but I really love it. They're some of my first OCs that I've, had since like forever since before i even made these comics um especially lauren if you know who lauren is she's my little shape-shifting girl she's very 80s themed she's um eccentric i kind of based a lot of her like explosive personality not explosive that sounds like angry like like hyperactive explosive type, like joyce, joyous explosiveness <laughs> was based off of me. Um, and she's, she's one of my favorites. I don't draw her enough, but she's, she was one of the OGs, you know? Anyways, I think it's time. What, what goes on in here is nothing like how the characters are now. It's, it's changed so much, it's like, Im this is going to be embarrassing. Anyway, I think it's time. I think, th so, yeah. oh my god. The first page is colored wonderfully, as you can see. <laughs> the rest of the pages, however, are, are not, and it's kind of, <laughs> for good reason. <laughs> Look at how bad this is, oh my god. At least on the first one, I like started with like a gradient. I was like, mm, let me just shade this with my colored pencils. And then I like switched to marker for some reason. And like didn't even like color it in all the way. There's like white specks everywhere. Um, oh yeah, so. Okay, yeah, chapter one. <laughs> what, a, what a name. This is Lauren's origin story. Because um, apparently she grew up in the 1800s. <laughs> Uh, not canon anymore. Um, that would be her mom, I think. What does that say? <laughs> I don't think we have enough chicken. <laughs> that, that is, yeah, that's how you introduce 
a story right there. She's like cutting potatoes. I told your brother to get one from that, to get one of the hens from the yard. Okay, he's been out there for a while. Look at this. Is this even the same woman anymore? That side profile is, is something. And I assume that's the brother. By the way, she doesn't actually have siblings, so I have no idea who this is. Or that, I think that's her little sister. <laughs> Just floating ominously in front of like a, a pot, I think. Um, let me see what happens. Bennett! Oh my god, I named him Bennett. <laughs> he doesn't exist anymore. Like, after this panel, he's gone forever. Bennett, it's cold. Shut the door already. Why? I don't know why she has that voice. Anyway, sometime later. Lauren, what is that squealing? <laughs> okay, whatever. Tell your father that supper is ready, please. Yes, ma. And then she just appears here. Is that his butt? Whatever. Supper's ready. All right. This is intriguing, clearly. Oh, he's... Yeah. Come... G. Come G what I've made. Isn't it amazing? Yes, it is. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Who is this man? It's not our father. You know, okay, you can't, okay. So apparently he's a scientist here, as you can see. He's making, like, a, a special, like, cor concoction with, like, magic horseshoes in it. <laughs> um, in my story now, I think he's a dentist. He's just a dentist. And they live in a, um, a trailer park. And they're not from the 1800s, surprise, surprise. Oh, wow, it stopped moving. Oh, because it was, like, swirling before. Oh, now it's moving again. Oh, get down! D dude, what even is with her face here? That is some action. <laughs> then it breaks, and then the window opens, and whoosh, and then the chairs fall over, whoosh. And then it, like, surrounds her, and then their house explodes. Oh, no, just the window explodes. <laughs> The little, and then I don't know what's happening here. I don't really remember this. This is not her actual origin story. Surprise, surprise. Now we got Jason. Believe it or not, that is Jason. Um, he looks nothing like that anymore. None of the characters do, actually. They all look spectacularly different. Um, I think, so, so what's funny is Lauren had two siblings in this and now in canon she has none and I think in this he has he's an only child but now in my canon he's got like five or six siblings he's got like a huge family and he's one of the older ones he's an older sister named DJ and she like does tattoo stuff um and she's like a brat to him so he's kind of he kind of has to act as like the the head of the house instead of her, which like normally would fall on like the the oldest child's shoulders. Why'd I have to come here, dude? Jason, I don't even know what is with those bangs. I mean, I can't say much. He's kind of got like emo bangs now, and he's not even emo. He's like a jock, so. And he's got long hair. He's got like short hair. I think I was trying to be like, oh, what what's the peak of attractiveness? Clearly, these f boy bangs. <laughs> Ugh, because you're sick and you couldn't go to school and your dad's busy. This is like, she is peak annoyed right here. Okay, okay, I just didn't think I'd spend a, my time at a stinky lab. Jeez, Jason, why are you complaining? Is this mom a scientist? What does she do in my actual thing? No, I, would, I was going to say orthodontist, but the other guy was a dentist. She's like a, um, she does orthopedics, like creating like casts and stuff and like, or like back braces or um, prosthetic limbs, stuff like that. Anyway, <laughs> you need to stop talking. Oh, geez, just shut him up. <laughs> uh, a few moments later, this is like this little Native American girl. What's that? Who is that guy? <laughs> He's like a walrus. <laughs> He's got boobs. <laughs> she was frozen many years ago. An archaeologist stumbled upon her. She was found in Alaska. Okay. <laughs> and then his mom's back. She dates back to the Ice Age times. Ooh, she's like one of the Clovis people. <laughs> Looks like she could have been a part of... Oh my god, I was right! <laughs> I didn't even read that. <laughs> Little 12-year-old me knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> Is her arm missing? Looks like it. Wait, her arm was missing? 
No, it's not. What the frick? I lied. How many of those do you have? Three. One, a chief from Greenland, and a third. The third just doesn't matter. <laughs> What's the third? We call her the, li the live one. Her real name is Lauren Jack. Jack? Jack? <laughs> so is that her last name? <laughs> Holy shit. Why is she the living one? Her eyes move sometimes. Ooh, can you show me? Look at this dude. He's <laughs> finally something interesting. Yes, dead people. <laughs> Why did I take a whole panel to do that? Okay, whatever. Right this way. A few moments later. In here, here, like as in hearing. I think those are their shadows. That's a table. God, is that Lauren? She looks disgusting. <laughs> Uh, John, I just found something. Come quick. What did you find? That was m more dead people? How interesting. This is nice, but for a panel. I gotta go. Stay here if you like, okay? Just slam, just, just shuts him in there. Jason, the stupid hair. What are those eyes? Like, are that his, is that his pupil or is that his eye? Like, what's this? Like, eyelashes? Is he, what? Why is his eyes the wrong way? <laughs> okay, oh my goodness, she opened her eyes. The magical presence of Jason has awakened her. Uh, freaky. Yeah, no shit, it's freaky. <laughs> oh, what is that? She's like, and her eyes got like goopy stuff in it. <laughs> the best panel so far. <laughs> oh. That hurt. A lot. Who are you? <laughs> it's not funny, but it is. Okay. Are you okay? Oh, he's just he's just dead. Oh, you're awake and your eyes are normal. <laughs> was this like oh was he just like out like that with his eyes open for five minutes? Dude. Anyway. Okay, please explain what is she gonna explain? She's been in like a calm over like over a hundred years. You passed out. No, why you're here? Because oh, it's because I'm dead. No shit. <laughs> oh, well, I remember telling my dad something. He wanted to show me some science thing to me. The liquid exploded and these tentacles. <laughs> tentacles? <laughs> oh. Wait, what year was it? 1820, which I think I erased that because I was like, oh, I gotta. I gotta change it so it's easier to do math or something. I don't. Because you, you can see the erase marks. It used to say like 1822 or something like that. It's 28. Is that even erased? Okay, now we now we have a date for it. Jeez, I would have been in like seventh grade, 18, or I put it a few years ahead maybe. Because I don't think my art was this bad. Like my art was bad in seventh grade, but it wasn't like this. So I might have like put it ahead of year because like you know I was gonna go big places. I was gonna publish this one day, so it had to be the right year for when I was going to publish it. And as you can see, anyway, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, can you help me out of this table thing? Sure. <laughs> A few moments later. Where am I? In my mom's lab. My dad's busy, so I came here. What's your dad doing? You know what he does? He's like a surgeon. In my canon story, I don't know what he is in this. <laughs> I don't know if he ever comes back again. Don't you have school? Yeah, but I'm pretending I'm sick. Why? I don't, so I don't have to go to school. Why wouldn't you want to go to school? It's boring. What's wrong? Uh, 198 years of sleep. I gotta pee. Uh, come with me. Is that math even correct? I, I, I'm not even doing that quick into math. Um, Chapter three, wait, two chapters have passed already? Okay, <laughs> all right, no shit. <laughs> so she just woke up when you were in there. Yep, I don't believe you, it's physically impossible. <laughs> all done, just walks in. I think her body would have side effects. I'm assuming she was like frozen. She'd be a little like creaky on the inside, you know? She just, she wouldn't be running to use the bathroom. <laughs> I believe you. We'll take her, we'll take her home. Don't tell anyone about her being frozen. 
This is crazy. What about Dr. John? We're both on a break for a week, so I'll tell him you left Lauren's cover off and she decomposed in the light. Is that how it works? Alright. <laughs> this is crazy. Again. It's, it's a frozen person. It's a frozen person like you were. Oh, he's pointing at the little native girl. <laughs> Actually, it's a dryad. An early dryad. What? Fairies aren't real. Dryads are. Dryads are part fairy connected to a tree. Eureka or something. <laughs> and then... Dude, did mythology, mythologic, maybe Land of Harmonia did secretly exist because that's the only story I actually have dryads in, and they don't look like that. Okay, this is so dumb. And she still has two arms. Where is her missing arm that I said she had? Yes, they are. No, there's thousands of them. No, huh? I don't even think that ever comes back again. Thirty minutes later, with this epic carb. <laughs> I'm not okay, whatever. Whatever. Um what's that? A car? A car? Um, it's like a carriage, except for with an E for some reason. A serrage. Oh. Except <laughs> greater except it's not being pulled. Oh, it, like by horses. Oh, and then she just gets on top of the car. Oh. We, uh, we, we go inside the car. Oh, she would know that because carriages, you go inside them. You don't sit on top of a carriage. Did I make her stupid? What is this? No, she's inside the car. She's like amazed because they're going fast. Whoosh, what is that? Oh, this is crazy. They're talking about a pig. Oh, and now she's killing the pig in her mind. Maybe it's a dream. And then he just throws up because she talked about killing a pig, as one does, as, you know? So, what do you want for dinner? <laughs> did the little me just, like, did I, like, think of the first fast food place? Santa Express, just, yeah, straight up. What's that? Oh, yeah, a shining beacon in the distance. It's Panda Express in all, it's, it's glowing. There's, like, a <laughs> heavenly music starts playing. Chinese food, except for I spilled Chinese raw. <laughs> I've never had Chinese food before. Really? <laughs> Is it really Chinese food, though? I think it's, like, heavily Americanized Chinese food. I don't know. I only go there when I do, like, honor band and music stuff for my school back when I was actually a high schooler. <laughs> Uh, now she's just like amazed. No one's questioning her food. I mean, like she must smell terrible right now. Like 198 years without a shower. Disgusting. <laughs> You're wearing clothes from 1820. That's what's drawing attention. There's people drawing attention to her? Okay, whatever. You guys' clothes are weird. Are not. I, okay, I didn't put these in the right order. Clearly I knew what I was doing with the layout of the comic, you know? Oh god, the robbery's happening. Wee woo wee woo. <laughs> this is a little space car. What's that? A robbery. Oh five minutes later. Room. Oh she's they just they're just leaving. No, they left Lauren! <laughs> we lost her oh no. Oh my stomach. Chinese food just didn't go with the other. <laughs> Why is your head shaped like that, child? Oh now she's like a, a griffin. With Four wings. <laughs> yeah. That's the wing. And then she's like flying. Choo, with, after the car. Because, you know, she's she's a hero. Obviously. This is, as I said, this was a superhero story. Well, you probably already know. She doesn't shapeshift into mythological creatures, which is what she originally did. Um, and I think I actually do have some really old animations of her shapeshifting into like unicorns and crap like that back when I like started my channel but those videos might not exist anymore I don't really know um, now she just shape shifts into people and the better she knows the person the better she can emulate them and it sometimes happens against her will so sometimes she'll just be chilling with her friends and then her face will just start morphing and then BAM it's Jason staring at Jason um, but yeah this was like way too OP for me and she can't she also can't like look at a person and like transform into them she has to like 
know them pretty well. So she could probably do a celebrity if she wanted, but like it'd have to be a celebrity she was a fan of and like n- knew exactly what looked like right in her mind, like right off the bat. Oh yeah, no, okay, so back to what we were doing. She's she's like literally screwing with these people's lives and then she just falls in front of their car and then she's a human again. And he's unfazed, he just doesn't care. That, so the birth thing was you? Yay, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> It just doesn't care. They don't care. They don't care. What am I wearing? A little, a little t-shirt with this on. She looks nothing like herself. She has like frizzy curly hair. In ca- again, in case you don't know, like, I don't think I put their names on my channel very much unless you like went to the description of all my videos that they're in. She would be under the category of like Lunchwall Heroes, which again is a workshopping title. It's kind of, it's kind of dumb. It used to have relevance to the story, but then the story's like changed again and again and again. So like it doesn't anymore. Um, so, the, the, but if you want it, like, there's a playlist with it, and that's the title of it, and you can probably go find her there. She looks nothing like this. Um, my sister's clothes. Oh, DJ. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, why can't I come? Oh, so he's not an only child. Okay, I thought he was in this. He's not. He's got an older sister, but not a million siblings. I gotta go to school. Mom's taking you shopping, because that's what you do when some, when your science experiment, your little science project gets just wakes up out of nowhere and you're like she was supposed to be frozen and dead what the first thing you do is take her shopping clearly i mean it's like girl time it's girl time i wonder if i can turn into a bird again yeah poof what the fuck is that (laughs) what no but i can turn into a sphinx what that is not a sphinx i i don't think that's what sphinxes look like Uh, let's try again (laughs) Oh, an Astrid. Oh, well, close enough. Astrids are also in Land of Armonia. I'm starting to think that Land of Armonia was a lot closer to this than I thought it was. Um, now, how do I orange back? <laughs> Lauren, I'm ready. That's the mom. Gasp. Yay. I'm so a slut like this. <laughs> what happened? Darn, I can't speak. Yeah, Astrid's can't speak. Just point. Don't get stuck. What is that? A sticker? Or I'm assuming it's a sticker. Because why would there just be a box sitting there that says don't get stuck? You're stuck. Yeah, nod. Why don't you speak to me? Because only fairies poof. Oh, now she's a fairy. Can understand me. Now she's a fairy. (laughs) Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, wait, she can transform into any mythological creature. That is so OP. Like, if you thought Rey from Star Wars was bad, which, like, in my humble opinion, she's, like, the worst OP character that I can, like, right off the bat, aside from, like, Harry Potter. <laughs> She's worse. She's worse. She's a thousand times worse. She can, like, she could transform into a basilisk and just, like, kill everyone or like any creature i mean like like what are the bounds of it could she transform into vecna from stranger things and like just like serial killer mode on everyone like or is it like existing ones because like none of these i I have no idea what the story was whatever whatever fairy i'm stuck you can't change back oh no uh nope How'd you do it last time? Like, (laughs) like unfazed at all, like, holy crap, you just turned into a fairy. This is insane. I have to tell my little science lab guy about this because this is an incredible discovery. No, it's like, well, can you be a human again? We're going shopping, Lauren. I guess I was tired. So, we should do, what, what? (laughs) So we should do a, a work, a a, a, a water workout, maybe, I don't know. Lift that up. Oh, yeah, workout. Okay. <laughs> Five pounds. Oh, she. Now this. Okay, okay. Ooh, angry butterfly girl. Oh, yeah. 15 pounds was too much for Lauren. <laughs> she just. <laughs> she just goes. Oh, bam. Dang. I did it, but. Uh, saloon. A saloon? Do you know, did I know what a saloon was? 
Apparently we're back in the 1800s, okay? <laughs> First, let's cut your hair. My, my, this is some really healthy hair. I don't even need to brush it. After 190 something years, I forgot already, in ice, her hair is flawless. She's just Steve Rogers, except for like even more. Like, he, 70 years in ice? That's pathetic. She did 190 something, almost 200. Steve Rogers needs to like step up his game. This is the next Captain America. <laughs> Oh yeah, just just straight up, just cutting it. Oh, now it's short, you know? She looks so much better in my design for her now. This is like... <laughs> I think every girl I drew just looked like this. Straight hair, ugliest bangs. Now a little Lauren glow up here with her boobs and her armpits and that huge scoliosis ass shoulder. Her like arm is thicker than her waist. <laughs> As one is. Okay. After shopping. Oh, we didn't get to get the shopping sequence. Shall we go get Jason? Why is his mom so, like, present in this? Like, I don't think I've ever drawn her again. She just, she exists in, in the story, but I haven't, like, redesigned her or, like, drawn her or anything. Like, this is, this is it. This is the last time she ever existed, I think. Well, no, wait, I think I do have a drawing of her in one of my old sketchbooks. I'll find that later. <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess. Here it is. Boys, they're picking on that boy. Oh, they're just kicking him on the ground. What are they doing? <laughs> what do you think they're doing? She just told you. Hey, stop that now before I call your mom's Oh, the ultimate threat. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Dude, what is that fetus on the ground? <laughs> they had the right to bully him. I mean, look at him. He looks disgusting. I hate it when kids pick up. When, when they... I have no idea what she's saying there. Um, where are you going? Oh, she's just out there. Lauren Angie. <laughs> hey, what are you? Oh, she just poofed into a unicorn. Wow. Trot, trot. She's trotting with her long ass legs and short ass horse body. This is the most disproportionate horse I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god, they were bullying him for being an amputee. <laughs> That's terrible. Dude, what? Oh, she just gave him an arm. My arm. This is a miracle. Like, unfazed by the unicorn, but like, oh my goodness, my arm is. <laughs> That's an ugly horse. It doesn't even look like a unicorn. I would probably look at that creature coming up to me, and I'd be screaming. Because what is that? Oh, uh, that that night. Oh, this is Jason again. I forgot what he looked like. <laughs> oh gosh. Wow, you're like a superhero. That kid w had a missing arm his entire life, and you gave him an arm. A real one, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, because, you know, fixing disabled people is just how we do it. That's, that's a terrible message to send. <laughs> oh, she's just sitting there. She's blushing. Uh, no, this just in. There was random shooting on Highway 28. Police are... Uh, Working hard on it, but, oh no, cops. <laughs> Blood, car wrecks, fire. <laughs> I bet you can stop that, what is this face? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, hers is worse, this is, oh my god. <laughs> I could, I guess I could try, yeah. Oh, she's a wolf now, okay, hold on, sorry. Before the wolf. <sighs> so. How are we going to get there? Five minutes later, he's just riding a wolf. She, he, he's, he's, um, Hela from, from Thor Ragnarok. Actually, in Norse mythology, her name would be Hel with just one L, but they, I think they call her Hela in the movies because <laughs> they can't just call a character Hel <laughs> for obvious reasons. Anyway, this is her wolf, clearly. Um, oh, those are obviously cars. That's a that's a guy. That he doesn't have legs. <laughs> Maybe Lauren needs to give him some magic legs. Fix his amputated, disgusting body. Oh, that's a gun. It looks like a penis. <laughs> oh, oh my God! He just died. Okay, and that's Lauren, I guess. I'm basically praying at this point. I know how to edit. Oh, she's just a she's a huge wolf now. She's chomping down on that car. And then throwing it, and then turning into a dryad, I think. 
And oh yeah, they're just in love with her because why not? Why not make a Mary Sue? Let's just do it. Let's full send. Oh no, she's a phoenix. Who is that? <laughs> uh, that's fire. Oh, she just caught that bitch on fire. Okay. And now she's a bird. And now she's... Well, I don't know what that is. It, I think it's a Thestral from, like, Harry Potter. Because, <laughs> heaven forbid, I be creative. That was awesome. Jason, you had no reason to be there. You absolutely useless prick. Um, the next few days were like this. You know, like, healing people's legs with their unicornness and being a pegasus and... Uh, being a fairy again, I think, and that's, uh, I don't know what that is, I think that's a dryad again, and an old lady with huge ass eyes, or glasses, <laughs> um, being a, a, a sphinx again, oh, DJ, I love DJ so much, I have, I don't, well, the only colored digital drawing I've done of her was for a Gortober challenge, and you can almost see her tits, out, and it's not a flattering picture of her. She's kind of like going a little psycho in it, but it was for the Gortobo prompt. I just used random characters. It has nothing to do with who she is. I, I, I do love her though. She's like this like sassy emo tattoo artist who also does like piercings. So she's like tatted up and like, a, um, you know, she just, she's got this vibe about her. I love her. And she still has it here kind of just really, really badly. <laughs> I can't believe it. You, t you two, wrong two, sneak out, snuck out again. You could have, you could, you could get killed. <laughs> Shut up, we don't care. <laughs> We're two delinquent children. I'm leaving for another week. I can't trust you. Ella, <gasps> her name was Ella? No, DJ, no! Ella will be in charge. I'm so sad. <laughs> And don't try and cover it up. I see you on the I see you on the news. I expect better. Well, I have to go now. Can't be late. No sneaking out. Phew. Thank God she's gone, right? Hurry up and go to your room now. Love birds. I love birds. Did I try shipping them? Well, crap, you guys. Lauren really is a Mary Sue in this. Lauren, for your information, is um, Aeroace, which, and if you don't know what that is, it's asexual and aromantic, except for I said it backwards. Um, she doesn't feel romantic or sexual attraction to anyone, like, no matter what. There's not even a spectrum. Like, some people who are Aeroace are on a spectrum. It's like, oh, I do feel some romantic attraction. There just has to be a connection made because they're demi romantic or gray romantic, and the same can be said for like the asexual spectrum. Uh, she is just full on no attraction to no one at all. She just doesn't care, which is really funny because I put her in so many awkward situations. And like, I there's a scene, I think at their homecoming where Jason has like this girl he really likes, but he gets like really sick. Like like he like got a concussion or something earlier, and he's been like throwing up. But he's like, I have to go on. She finally like noticed me. I have to go here for her. She's my date. Um, uh, but then while he's dancing with her, he starts feeling like really vomitous and he's like, I can't throw up on her. I gotta, I gotta go. And, um, him and Lauren are like besties. So she's like with him in the bathroom, like holding his hair. <laughs> he's like throwing up in the toilet because, because like girl bosses slay together. <laughs> and he's like, I want to go back out there. I don't want her to think I'm standing her up. And this is like the only opportunity I have because he's a dramatic little frick. And she's like, I have an idea. I'm just going to be you. <laughs> And so she transforms into him, and she steals his clothes, and he just sits in the bathroom, just alone and sad. <laughs> and she goes out there to dance with his crush, and she starts making moves on her, but she thinks it's Jason. And then, like, Lauren, I, I don't know why I went on this tangent, but, like, Lauren <laughs> freaks out. <laughs> and she runs back, she's like, you gotta go back out there, she's gonna kiss you. And he's like, really? And then he goes out there, and he throws up on her, and it's horrible. Um, but that, that's just how, I mean, like, it could change, but I don't know. It's like a little funny, like, side story that happens. It has, like, nothing to do with the plot other than Jason kind of, like, making moves, you know? <laughs> no. 
Why would you even think that? Yeah, why would they be lovebirds? I am autistic, and yeah, she's also autistic, by the way. I'm autistic, and I don't feel attraction towards people either. I am my own human. And did you not give a shit? Well, what else do you think you'd be doing sneaking out together? N new, go to your rooms. I have friends coming over. Because she's got to be a brat. She's going to be the horrible older sister. Are her feet like hooves? What is happening there? This is the, um, oh, she used to have a worse face, and now it's just as bad. And we don't talk about DJ, who is apparently Ella in this comic. Uh, they won't be coming. Oh, Lauren, why are you being rude to DJ? All she did was, like, maybe think that you and Jason were getting it on, because reasonably so, you disappear every night. <laughs> um, what makes you say that? I can embarrass you in ways you can't even imagine. Lauren, why are you being a bitch? DJ didn't do anything to you. I didn't tell you to go. She was a little rude, but, like, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> Oh, really? I'd like to see you try. Oh, wow, crap. What happened? <laughs> oh, oh, we're good, we're good. Later. Hey, guys. Oh, look at our punk friends with the big, big tits out. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, they're just gonna prank her, I guess. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah. And then... Oh, God, what is that? Oh, she's a ghost. <laughs> Freaky. Okay, go. Little smiley face. That's her butt going through the door, and he's just he's staring right at that butt. Whoosh. Ah. She's oh oh my god! Just whole boob grab right from the boob grab from behind. Uh, then lights are flickering, and that dude's just scared. <laughs> What's happening? Tis I, the ghost. Rear here to feed on your souls, I guess. Whoa. Scream. Oh. That kid just doesn't care. She's just she's she's above this. That that guy though, or girl. <laughs> Lauren, I swear I'm gonna everyone running oh. screech. Oh, disgusting. Why, why are you picking a fight on Lauren? It's, they got more like sibling dynamic, honestly. Just canon. <laughs> oh, she runs. Why, why did you gotta be so mean to DJ, though? Uh, did it work? Yeah, <laughs> just stepping in the door like that. Yep, now we can go kill people. Save people. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking... Oh, for a second, I thought I was recording. I was really sad. Actually, I was thinking, since you're a superhero, we could make we should we could make a suit. Yeah. What happened? Find out next. Oh God, what is that? It's like an angel. Wow. Oh, they're in like a, they're in a church. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for you two. Who are you? <laughs> What do you mean? I am the giver. Like, like the book? Like the book, the giver? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Why am I in a church? Please. I don't belong here. You asked for a suit. You never, you, you never, never, whatever. It, you need it to save the world. Oh, was that her hand in the way? Okay, I thought it was another letter. <laughs> I'm so confused. I am here to give it to you. Come with me. You wish <laughs> for generations. Future for for generations. Future has for generations. Future what is that? What am I even saying here? That has. God, you told me that young people would come to, to me. I heard your call and I brought you here. How old are you, by the way? 16. <laughs> As they would be. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're 16 and we're here to cause trouble in a church. Here it is. <laughs> wow. It protects you and you can transform into it immediately. Health? 
and I spelled immediately wrong. <laughs> Disgusting suit. I heard, okay, so this design actually kind of, aside from the pointy boob box thing, um, and the mask, it kind of did stick around. I know there's not much of a design there, but I did draw other things with it outside of this comic that still stuck around and she still has a suit based off of that and it goes like under her clothes. We also have one for you, but I don't have powers. Yeah, that's why you're cringe. <laughs> you don't need powers to save lives. You're gonna go be a police officer. Swoosh, vagina, lips, which I shouldn't have said that. This is kidly, kid friendly. So cool. That is the ugliest suit. Why is it like leaf? Oh yeah, he used to be leaf themed, like, like a little nature boy. And now he's just a skater boy. <laughs> I, it was meant for someone else, but they never came, so it is yours. I wonder if I had a backstory plan for that. Who, like, who the someone else was. Oh, pshoo. That was weird. Yeah, it was. We should try on the stuff. Touch. Wah. Well, he's, he's just in leaf armor. Like, <laughs> God, this is where I'm actually cringing. Like, before, and it was, like, kind of, like, funny, but, like, the, the, he, he looks so ridiculous here. Like, I know the art style is really bad. Give me grace. I was... I wouldn't say I was really a beginner. I'd been drawing for a while and I still did that to an arm. So I wouldn't say, I was still like learning, obviously. My art clearly has improved, but it was worse, believe it or not. This was not me learning how to draw. This was me being, this is my art style now. <laughs> it was bad. I think this was an excuse to not draw clothes on her because I was not in an inappropriate way. I think I was just like, it's hard having to draw so many clothes. Like, the wrinkles and details and all that stuff. Okay, what is that? A window? Oh, they're sneaking out. Again, to be lovebirds. Lovebirds. Birds? Birds? <laughs> I say we fly over the city. Maybe a pegasus or a thestral. You know, if the giver gave you that suit, she probably gave you a way to get around. I'm not carrying your fat ass around anymore, Jason. Figure it out on your own. Yeah, but how? Try using the rope. And then she's just gone. She's a centaur now. She's just leaving. <laughs> Jason doesn't matter anymore. Uh. Throw. Grab. Tuck. Ah, no, God, he's. F oh, God, what happened to him, bro? Okay. He's. Just, oh, he's Spider Man. He's Spider Man on his way around. <laughs> so you figured it out come with me like <laughs> i ditched you i didn't even want to like stick around to see if you could figure out how to get around on your own or like figure it out with you or help or make sure maybe that you didn't like die and like fall on your face nah i just left <laughs> i saw sirens going that way got it it's time to do the police's job and then poof and schwa and oh she's a spider now oh giant spider Scuttle, 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 screaming, wah, wah, wee woo, wee woo, <laughs> what is even happening, what is that, and why she got a thing on her chest, is like her suit changed to her, she's got thin and everything, she's not a mermaid, I don't know what she is, I don't know what to call that, <laughs> I need you, I need you to throw me up there, okay, okay, Shawnee, <laughs> bam, wow, that's like the last panel of this, why, from that moment on, they were, they, they were, the, were saving the city they, they lived in. They were known as Leaflet and Myth. <laughs> Such original names. <laughs> One day, a meteor <laughs> hit the side, hit outside the city, and a new threat was born. Plus, Jason changed his hair. The <laughs> I had to add that he changed his hair, because that's really good of mankind. Okay, we're gonna pause here. Okay, that is the end of the video. I am recording at a completely different time. I'm gonna be so upset if we're, because I'm, I'm like sitting in a different area now, and if it, if the sound quality is better in here than it was for like the rest of the video, which was like almost two hours of recording, honestly, I'm gonna cut a lot of it out. Um, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Uh, there's going to be a next part to this because I did not get through half of this book. I, like, I'm not even kidding. There's two other little origin story things that little little 11 year old me wrote um and it's they're gonna be too long to put into this video so i don't want to like run your patience then so we're gonna say goodbye now remember to go check out my video 
video. Remember to go check out my uh, book, Land of Armonia, if you haven't already. And uh, thank you for like sticking around to the end. This is like a huge video. I don't think I've ever made a video this long. So thank you for existing, you little wonderful ball of human flesh. Um, yeah, bye. <laughs>